boy Handy Danny, man, and I just wanted to make a video real fast in regards to the fact that I am here at the Home Depot and I needed to get another tape measure. And a lot of times when you see something like this, you have such a big variety of tape measures. And if you're a homeowner, if you're into DIY, um, you're like, what the heck, which one do I need? Which one is the best? Which one is gonna work for me? And I just wanna kinda of give you a quick breakdown um, on what measures up, what's best um, when it comes to a tape measure. Uh, me, Furley, of course, you guys know me pretty well, that I am a uh, Milwaukee guy all day, every day, you know? So the one that I like the most would be the um, 16 inch, 16 feet uh, tape measure. Um, however, this one right here is magnetic and I'm not into the magnetic tip. However, it is helpful, it is useful for the simple fact that um, there are times that I will use something that's magnetic for the simple fact that it will uh, connect to things and I don't have to have anybody hold the tip. But this one right here um, is 12 inch reach. Um, and it has what I call the dummy tape measure on it where it has all of your eighths, your quarters, your three eighths, and your halves. The sixteenths are in between. Um, if you don't know how to read the sixteenths, I will, uh, you know, um, break it down to you one day if you really want to know that, okay? Um, when it comes to DeWalt, I've used this guy right here once before in regards to DeWalt and what I do like about DeWalt and the difference between this one right here is that it will, it's a little thicker. So when you go to stretch the tape measure out, especially far distances, it will um, stand a little stronger versus this guy right here, which is a little thinner. And if you can see that, let me lock that. And I'm trying to do this one handed, but if you can see the comparison there, see how thick the DeWalt is and the Milwaukee is a little thinner. So when you go to extend it, it's called standout. It will collapse, the Milwaukee will collapse a little faster than the actual DeWalt. However, Milwaukee does sell uh, different type of tape measures that are thicker. Um, and as you can see, this guy right here is thicker, but it doesn't have the uh, dummy tape measure on it where it tells you the eighths. It only tells you the holes and halves. It really only tells you the holes, but it don't give you anything besides that. You know, um, Stanley, uh, they have a thing called a Fat Max right here. The Fat Max um, is really thick. It will stand out a lot further when it comes to, um, you know, stretching it out long distances versus the thinner Milwaukee. And this has an auto lock on it. Um, I don't really like too many tape measures that have an auto lock because I'm just using it really quickly and it, I have to hit the button to bring it back in. And once I kind of release it, I want it to let go. Um, so I don't really care much for auto lock. So you can get a tape measure with an auto lock on it. You can get a tape measure. Um, this one right here has an auto, auto lock and it's a fat max. Um, Milwaukee is notorious for, uh, you know, having a, a, a nice small compact. I like the compact smallness of it. And also, I also want to consider the, t the back of it here. So when I go to hook this guy, the one that I particularly use, this guy right here, I pinch that on my skin sometimes and it hurts, okay? Um, this one, when I pinch it on my skin, it doesn't hurt as bad for the simple fact that it has like a double round edge to it. And this one right here is kind of sharp, you know? So that's to be considered when buying a tape measure as well. Um, this uh, Husky has your, uh, it's like a dummy tape measure, you know, and it's small, it's compact. Um, however, for me, I just have to have Milwaukee everything. I am a Milwaukee guy all day, every day. I represent Milwaukee. I just love what they got going on. And then you can also buy one of these little bags too. This little bag you can hook to your belt and you can just drop the tape measure inside here. You connect that to yourself one time and you never have to take it on and off because the bag is going to be holding the tape measure for you. But for me as a contractor, uh, it gets a little heavy, you know, and um, I don't necessarily want all that weight on me. 
However, um, the one that I'm choosing, the one that I'm going to pick, the winner for me is going to be the 16 inch, 16 foot, why well, I keep saying inch, Milwaukee in regards to uh, my professional use as a professional. So once again, if you're a homeowner, <clears throat> you're doing DIY, um, whatever you're doing, whatever you're into, um, you know, that's the one I like to use more than all the others, you know, so um, thanks for watching. Buy me a cup of coffee. If you found this video helpful and make sure you subscribe. All right. Thank you. Goodbye.